The Assassin's Creed franchise is well known for its unique blend of parkour, stealth, and combat. But it's the historical setting that really sets these games apart and is honestly one of the biggest selling points. With 13 entries to the main series that span over a thousand years, the overall series timeline has gotten quite convoluted. Today on Game Rant, we'll be taking a look at the entire Assassin's Creed franchise in chronological order. And be warned, this video includes heavy spoilers. The game set in the oldest time period, 431 to 404 BC, is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Players control either Cassandra or Alexios as they battle their way through the Peloponnesian War, uncovering some pretty big cosmic secrets along the way. Along with Origins, which takes place a few hundred years later in 49 through 43 BC, it examines a time before the Assassins and Templars, when they were both known as the Hidden Ones and the Order of the Ancients, respectively. We also get more info on the first civilization, aka the Isu, the highly advanced species that lived 77,000 years ago that created humanity, passed on their consciousness through their DNA, and then were wiped out by a solar flare. Honestly, that's quite the resume if you ask me. 900 years later, in 850 AD, we're treated to Assassin's Creed Mirage, which centers around a hidden one named Basim as he travels through the streets of Baghdad on his journey from lowly street thief to master assassin. Of course, we'll also see Basim again during the events of Valhalla, set between 872 and 878. It's revealed that he's actually the ancestor of Loki, who turns out to be an Isu himself. And Eivor, the game's Viking protagonist, is also revealed to be the reincarnation of another Isu, Odin. Then we skip to 1191, where the very first game in the franchise takes place. Set during the Third Holy Crusade, Altair finds a piece of Eden, an ancient Isu artifact of unknown power. It is a good life we lead, brother. The best may it never change, and may it never change us. Then, we travel to 1476 through 1512 to the trilogy of fan-favorite Ezio. Set in Renaissance Italy, he ends up finding the very same piece of Eden as Altair, while also clashing repeatedly with the Borgias on his quest to avenge his family member's death at the hands of the Italian Templars. Following that, we find ourselves in 1715, sailing the high seas with the one and only Edward Kenway. His story takes players through the West Indies on a journey to become a pirate lord and a member of the Assassin Order. The next games take place within a relatively smaller time frame now, so try to keep up. In 1752, Edward's son Haytham decides to join the Templars during the events of Assassin's Creed Rogue. We then follow his son Connor in 1754 in Assassin's Creed 3, set in colonial America. He simultaneously wants to protect his people's lands and avenge his mother's death. Up next, 1776, we have Assassin's Creed Unity. It takes place during the French Revolution and gives players the chance to play as Arno, who's out to expose the true powers behind the revolution while also seeking revenge for the murder of his adoptive father. And finally, we arrive in 1868 with Syndicate. Players control the Fry Twins during the Second Industrial Revolution as they navigate through a city filled with organized crimes and Templars. Of course, there's also the modern day segments that take place outside of the Animus with characters like Desmond and Layla. The two technically end up working together with the slight caveat that Layla is communicating with the disembodied version of Desmond following his death in an attempt to prevent a global disaster. I owe this to the people I, I hurt. The people I love. Yes, I know the feeling. And there you have it, the entire timeline of the Assassin's Creed franchise. Thanks for joining us today, and be sure to keep it tuned to Game Rant.